So looking at this right now, guys, I don't know. I feel like um, you could you could trade NQ, I guess, if you wanted to uh, instead. But for today, I, I actually am liking I'm liking ES a little bit more because just because of the the gap over top. The the sell side of liquidity is about the same either way. Um, the only issue though with this setup would be stop placement, and I guess I would. I guess I would just put it above, you know, at least this fair value gap candle. I see a little volume imbalance right here, so maybe you know, jump up in time frame, put it above like this two minute, you know, so that way we're above consequent encroachment of this wick. We're above both of these. This little, you know, extend this gap across BPR there, and then looking to take it down to here, 14 to 18 point target, risk 600 to make uh, 2100. I might even I might even mess around and do two contracts off here and just see if we get a push. We'll see when the moment comes. We gotta get pulled. We gotta get uh, a pullback and get picked up first. So, so yeah, I, I can't really say I missed out per se because I sound like there was an entry I would have wanted and then it. All right, so I'm deleting the limit order, guys. We just took out all, took out those uh, those lows in that sell side. See, so <clears throat> this kind of what I was trying to draw out, like what we could get, something like this. Accumulation range, and then one more manipulation up, maybe. Then that strong displacement, something like that. But yeah, basically just AM AMD all over again on a smaller time frame. I'm thinking we might get the move right now. All right, I'm only gonna be able to do one contract. <clears throat> I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna execute a short, try to hold it down to 800, right above it, 801. I'm gonna try to play off this inverse gap, guys, for shorts. And yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking stop loss above this high, the high of the candle. I mean, could stretch it to above that high, but I think this should be good. Yeah, so two contracts would put me over my half percent, so I can only do one now. So here you go, AMD. <clears throat> we'll see if we get the the D part. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> We've got the A and the M. Now I'm ready for the D. Give it to me, Blanston. Give it to me, Blanston. There you go. Just got tapped in, guys. It's in the market maker's hands now. We got the A and the M, and now we want the D. Well, macro is coming in 30 seconds, folks. Go, baby, go. There we go. Risk free, folks. Risk free. I mean, I guess if you don't, if you don't want to be risk free, you don't have to be. But I just think this is an area where price could very easily hold. This is like these liquidity pools, in my opinion, are high probability. Fair value gap, low tucked inside of that. So like this, this could be the, you know, this could be the, you know, what I'm saying. Defense wins championships, or so they say. Five minute gap traded through, closed below. We're right back inside of that currently. Obviously narrative, we'd wanna see that hold and become inverse. So there's not a whole lot of like, there's a lot more logic in why we could continue lower, in my opinion. Woo! SMT failed. If it closes above this body of this down close candle, that's a change in the state of delivery on a one minute chart. And I will close it because I'm not I'm not willing to hold it back up here to be honest with you at this point. Go, baby, go. No fucking way. I'm out. Get fucked. Get fucked, stay fucked. I'm out. One to two point one R. <clears throat> Fifty two points. Wow, that was a lot more painful than I felt like it had to be. 10.36 to, well, 11.11, basically. Uh, I think it'll still go lower, truthfully, but... I also felt like it should have accelerated by now. The macro just ended as well, so... Macro is... 10.50 to 11.10. To be honest with you guys, like the, one of the reasons I closed it was because 
I'm like, bro, the macro just ended. Now we're going to sweep liquidity and boom and golf. So I just like, you know, get me out. And then literally two minutes after the macro. It is what it is. It's not always going to be perfect. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning on the session. If you need anything, reach out. Otherwise, I'll chat with you guys in the Discord and see you guys on Zoom tomorrow morning, everybody. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll talk soon.